what are your fondest memories of Clive Barker? Because we've heard a lot of players talk about how he was a father figure, a coach and a mentor. What are your fondest memories of Clive? You know, my first encounter with, with, with Coach Clive Barker, uh, 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 it was when he when I joined Bafana Bafana in 1994. You know, and, and he, he I was so afraid, you know, <laughs> because there were a lot of big stars in the team and him as a head coach. You know, I was afraid that how will I approach him. But when I when he first spoke to me, he said to me, Herman, congratulations uh, for being selected. And no one made a favor for you. You made favor for yourself. And the other thing that uh, you need to know is that you can claim, you know, the first uh, uh, 11 position. You know, if you go out there and play like you've been doing at Orlando Paris, please feel it at home. Mm. Then, yeah, I felt at home, but what also uh, supported his words was like, you know, mm. when I was always uh, receiving the ball, especially as I was playing on the touch line next to his ben uh, bench, you know, he will be the first one screaming at me and say, how oh, man, take them on, take them on, take the defender on, you know, you need to pass the defender and deliver the cross for the likes of Phil Massinger, Sean Parklet to score. You know, when you have a coach that gives you that confidence as a player, you just go out there and make sure that you do not disappoint. You know, unlike, you know, other coaches that will always scare you and say, hey, don't lose the ball, don't lose the ball. You know, but with Coach Clive Barker, that was totally different, you know. And those attributes... You know, are the ones that I also use them, you know, in my coaching <laughs> position right now as an assistant of Bafana Bafana. So there are a number of lessons that I learned from uh, Coach Clive Barker that I'm using them, mm. you know, as alluded. I mean, you, spoke, you speak fondly of him and, you know, the impact that he has had on your career now as a coach, the assistant coach of uh, Bafana Bafana. What do you think his legacy um, is, will be, you know, as we now talk about him in the past tense? I mean, he won the AFCON competition in 1996. He qualified the team to the 1998 FIFA World Cup in France. You were part of that traveling team that went to France. What do you think his legacy is? I think what yeah, I feel that personally, we, we, as football people, we just need to make sure that you know we 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 we, we, we make sure that you know we 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 record mm. you know okay. the, the history, uh, the especially the success you know of 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 our legends you know we, we so that we play it show and show uh, I mean time and time and again. As you and use them as an educational tool in order to inspire the, the, the upcoming generation, you know, and the players or as well as the coaches, you know, because of, as I've said earlier, that, you know, the attributes that Coach uh, Clive Barker had, you know, when I'm looking back now, uh, I still use them, you know, which are critical in making sure that, you know, as a coach, you don't focus only on the tactical aspects. You also focus on building, you know, a, 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 a respectable human being, you know. So Coach Life Barker's legacy, that wasn't all about uh, uh, focusing on producing good players or the winning team, but also producing, you know, a, a good citizenship, you know, amongst the players. So his legacy, I, I still believe that it can be enhanced by making sure that we record our football history, especially from all the, the, the legends that they have made sure that they made a mark in developing our football. Mm. Helman, just allow me to go back to that 1996 class, you know, that won the AFCON competition. You were part of that class of players that really did the unthinkable. The last time South Africa tasted AFCON glory. But when you look back at that class and 
the majority of those players from 1996, Helmut, yourself included, went on to play abroad in different leagues around the world. What role do you think Clive Barker played in molding your career? Because you went on to play in Turkey for almost 10 years um, <coughs> in your career. What, what, what role did he play in, in, in ensuring that you thrived abroad? Uh, I, I still believe that, you know, with, 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 with the individual talent that uh, uh, we had as players, you know, with the, 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 the influence of Coach Clive Barker, you know, I, I still remember vividly, you know, uh, telling me that, uh, uh, Herman, you know, if you, have, if you demonstrated the, the, the right attitude, you know, in your game, uh, you will help this country not only to, to, to qualify for the Africa Cup of Nations and for the World Cup. That was way before uh, uh, we qualified for the World Cup in 1998. You know, and having such advice, you know, as a father figure, that motivated me that as a player, I shouldn't look at achieving goals like reaching the African Cup of Nations, but to go beyond and play in the World Cup. So playing in the World Cup, that automatically puts you in the world stage, whereby international teams will, you know, come scouting you, you know. So I believe that his words played a huge role, not only to me and also the other players that were in the national team. You know, so in short, you know, he encouraged us to do well so that we, 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 we attract international scouts so that we can go and play abroad. So I believe that that played a huge role in that team of 1996. Mm. As we wrap up the conversation, uh, Helman, you are now currently the assistant coach of uh, Bafana Bafana, having resumed this position back in 2021. Did you ever have conversations with Clive Barker? After you assumed that role, did he speak to you about, you know, did he give you advice about how you should act in this role? Did you ever have conversations with Clive just after that announcement as the assistant coach? You know, to be honest, you know, I never had an encounter, a personal encounter with him, you know, uh, since I've uh, resumed the role as an assistant coach at Bafana Bafana. But to, uh, uh, I still remember when they were celebrating the, 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 the class of 96 in, uh, uh, at Sun City. So that is where I had an encounter with him when I was an assistant uh, of under 20. So when we were there, you know, uh, you know we were just chatting, you know, on, uh, you know, we were just chatting where he was just saying that I can see you are doing great with the young players. Please make sure that you work harder, you know, and, 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 and show respect to them because what respect you give it to them is the respect that you will also earn. Those are some of the few uh, conversations that we had, even though you could see by then that, you know, it wasn't, you know, uh, uh, well, you know, in terms of the health-wise. But, yeah. Helman, thank you so much for making time to chat to us this morning on the Weekend Report. That's, of course, um, Helman Mkelele, also known as the Midnight Express, back in the days, right? As the Midnight Express, just talking to us and reliving those moments of having worked with Clive Barker.